All right. Hello and welcome back. Hope you are all sufficiently fed and caffeinated and ready for a full afternoon of more great content. So to kick us off, um, we'll be starting our afternoon with a lightning talk by Michael Palmer. Michael leads acquisition strategy activities for the U.S. Digital Service Team at the Department of Homeland Security. He's designed and managed more than $5 billion in government IT contracts at a variety of agencies, and he's been uh, received awards for acquisition leadership and innovation. Today he'll discuss the government's desperate search for companies with design capability. So please join me in welcoming Michael Palmer. Test, test, test. There you go. Test, test, test. Here's your clicker, Michael. Oh, okay, thank you. Green button, red button. Green button, red button. Green button, red button. Green button. <coughs> Green button, red button. There we go. Yo, my name is Mike Palmer. Uh, welcome back from lunch. Uh, I'm with the US Digital Service at DHS. I'm an acquisition strategist there. Uh, typically, we hire uh, we hire product managers, designers, and engineers, and then there's randoms like myself that are bureaucracy hackers, and my superpower is acquisition strategy. And so uh, today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about how I've seen uh, over time that design uh, can lead to dollars for uh, vendors. Uh, tell you a couple of stories about uh, projects that I've been involved in at USCIS and DHS. And please, this talk is for you if you have questions while I'm talking, even though it's a lightning talk. Please, raise your hand and we can address them. All right, USDS. I think most of you know who the USDS is. It's lightning. I am desperate. I am desperate to find uh, vendors. Well, actually, we are desperate to find vendors that are amazing at going out to user communities teasing out their needs and translating those needs iteratively into amazing products. I have had trouble finding those kinds of firms. They are rare. And the problem is that most companies stink. They stink at user-centered user design. Uh, they stink at working with user communities and taking their needs and translating them into products. That is the problem that I'm having and our program offices are having when they try and find companies to create amazing government services for their user communities. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of stories really quick and about what's kind of shaped my, my views on this and then uh, give some feedback to my government counterparts in the audience as well as uh, my industry uh, co colleagues. All right, really quick, uh, you might have heard of a competition called the Flash Competition. I was just talking with Steve over there about that. And really quick, one of the three things that we evaluated on the flash contract competition, which was a DH DHS-wide uh, contract competition for digital service support to all, uh, of, the, all of the components across DHS, uh, one of the three things that we evaluated was uh, design. And so only 13 of the 11, 111 bidders that we had bid on that contract competition that's 12%, only 12% of the companies that bid excelled in design. And this was stunning. This was one of our biggest takeaways uh, from that competition is that there are so few companies that understand how to work with users, how to tease out their needs, how to work with them iteratively, yes, iteratively, and how to take those needs and create amazing products. Uh, and there was also a correlation between being awesome at design and actually winning a contract. This one, uh, design was the biggest discriminator in terms of uh, evaluation factors and what led to actually winning the contract. So Flash showed us that design capability is rare. Next up, that was a couple of years ago, uh, my USCIS had a contract competition that I was asked to assist with, and my USCIS, um, is a design and it was a design and development support contract. Uh, so uh, in we did it. We learned from Flash. One of the one of the uh, lessons learned from Flash is maybe you should do a down select to tease out those that don't understand design. 
Uh, so we used our biggest discriminator, which was design, as the phase one uh, 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 capability assessment. And so we assessed folks' capability and design. And so we had 13 bidders propose. 30% of them understood design clearly. 70% did not. The biggest takeaway there for me was that there was no middle ground. You either get it or you don't. There was no, you kind of get how to communicate with, that, with your user communities and tease out their needs and translate that into amazing products. So that was one of the biggest takeaways for us. And this was also consistent with market research uh, meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings usually that I was facilitating with program offices, with uh, design companies, development companies, and those in between. So to my government colleagues in the room, we drive industry behaviors. So and that includes investment. So if you don't ask for design, if you don't evaluate design, you're not going to get it in the marketplace. I need you to ask for uh, companies that are awesome at connecting with user communities, taking user needs, translating them to, into amazing uh, products and amazing experiences for the public. Companies will invest if there's a business reason. To my industry counterparts, I'm desperate to find you. And guess what? There is tremendous opportunity because not many of you exist that actually know design. At least that's what I have noticed. And I'd look forward to afterwards hearing any feedback around that. Um, you're rare. Uh, design, the demand for your services are up. I've seen more agencies actually asking for and then evaluating uh, awesome design capability. But I haven't seen the amount of companies uh, increase uh, over time. So demand is up, supply is not. So continue to invest in design capability because we are desperately looking for you. I uh, just want to share a story. There are still situations, and this especially goes out to my government counterparts. I heard a story yesterday about how uh, somebody was proposing to a competition and they proposed to do uh, a, a discovery sprint and then to use a research. And they actually were cited for a weakness in that competition because of that. And I would say there's still pockets that frustrate me out there in the, in the government space. Do not let that discourage you. Continue to propose approaches that will benefit the public in the end and commit, create amazing products and amazing services uh, for the benefit of the public. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Uh, the, the other question is a small guy like me, how can I convince you that I'm a rare bird? Well, whether you're, I'll skip to the second one because you'll need to remind me what the first one was. <laughs> so the second one, uh, how does a small guy show that they can connect with user communities, take those needs, translate them, them into amazing products, and then create and deploy amazing user experiences. It's, it's no, I think it's actually easier for smaller companies to do that um, no. because of a more agile, potentially a more agile culture. Because a, a lot of what I've noticed is that if you don't have that agile culture to then transform and change your, the way you're actually operating, the way you're, conduct, with the way you're gathering requirements, if you want to call them requirements, I like to refer to them as user needs. Um, yeah, I think smaller companies are actually in a better place rather than larger companies to do that. My question is slightly different. You are my customer. Uh, contracting officers are my customer. Government uh, is my uh, uh, customer. I'm a very tiny guy. I'm a very small guy. How do I get in front of them in order to convince them that I have those capabilities which you are looking for? Because there is a huge gap. You are looking for something which you think is rare. I think it is in abundance. There is a gap in between that you are not able to find people like me. That is a great question. Um, I think the government's continually trying to create ways to find companies that are amazing, especially including at design. Uh, there's companies here that I've talked with for the last two to three years um, 
that have this capability but still have not won any contracts uh, within the agencies. And I think it just takes time. And even when I speak to non-traditionals that aren't in the space yet, it's hard to find an easy way, an easy answer to dip your toe into the space, to get investment, to be successful. I think the government needs to work on that. I think the government needs to create ways to create quick wins, to get exposure to the space so that you can decide how much you want to continue to invest in the space, whether you have that capability or not yet. Yeah, thank you.